Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you ever want to learn how to tie knots, tie knots better, uh, make a ratchet strap out of rope, or make a hauling system that you can lift 300 pounds with with absolute ease, go ahead and stay tuned. We're going to take a look, starting with just kind of the terminology uh, that we'll use, some of the, the equipment that we're going to use, then we'll tie some knots, set up some rigging, and look into some other cool little stuff. All right, so first we're going to look at the different types of rope we're going to use. Um, any big rope that I'll be using will be a life safety rated rope, um, rated for two people for rescue purposes. This is what we'll be using when we have a haul system and we're lifting up something two, three hundred pounds or a person. Uh, you never lift a person that's not on life safety rope. The second is going to be a uh, prussic cord. Uh, this is, I think, six millimeter. We'll use this to tie prussics and do little smaller stuff. Um, it's rated for, I think, six millimeters, rated around 1,500 breaking pounds. Um, we use this for some stuff, but what I practice with a lot is uh, just paracord. It's really cheap. You can pick it up. I think Walmart even carries it now. It's paracord or 550 cord. You can use this for making little ratchet straps and, and tying stuff down. Just general utility use. It's really good and, and it's really cheap. Alright guys, so let's talk about the different little terms we'll use while we're actually tying knots or setting up rigging. So we're using our pressic cord right now. Um, the big bundle of rope that you're not using, that you're not tying your knot with, that's the standing part or the standing end. So if your knots if your rope's in a big pile on the ground, that's the standing end. Or if it's anchored over here to somewhere that you can't move and you're on this side doing something with it, this is the standing end, this is the running end. If we're going to be tying something on a bite, or if I, if I ever just say put a bite in the rope, that literally means take your rope, that's a bite. It's just kind of doubled over. Um, a loop, obviously, is just a loop. Pretty simple. Uh, there's an overhand and an underhand loop. Um, if I say to put a, make a turn in it, that means we're going to go around an object once, and that's a turn. If it's a round turn, it's twice. Pretty simple. Um, an overhand knot is just what everyone would say is a knot. It's uh, a gr or granny knot, a lot of people call it. That's just an overhand knot. All right, guys, so if you do want to learn more knots, um, I'll put a link here to long sections. Uh, probably 15 minute blocks of tying multiple knots. If you just want to watch the first knot we do and then one at a time, those will be here. I'll try to put a subscribe button here. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. And remember, you need to be prepared to thrive while others survive. Thanks.